Hi there, this is Marissa from Pixel Scrapper, and today I'm just going to show you quick how to blend two papers together here in Photoshop. So I already have two papers here, you can see over here on my layers panel. I have the two papers, I already dragged them in. And I'm going to go ahead and create a new layer. Then what I'm going to do is use my gradient tool over here, which you'll find under your paint bucket. So your paint bucket is maybe what you'll see, but you can, if you hold down on the paint bucket, you can get your gradient tool. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on that gradient up there, and this will help me set up my gradient. So yours will look like, who knows what yours will look like. Um, so we'll just start here. And I'm just going to start by setting this to gray and this color to white. And then up here on the top, I'm going to click on this, and this will let me set the opacity. And I'm going to take this all the way down to zero. And so now you will see that my gradient starts at gray and goes to nothing. And I kind of want it to be a little darker, so I'm going to add another stop here. Just make that also gray. It doesn't really matter what color you, uh, you do. So this is kind of pulling it out. Um, Okay, so you can just kind of play around with this until you get it to be what you want. I wonder if I put another one on. There we go. That's really what I want to do because I don't want it to be quite as um, transparent. Okay, so this is good. Um, so I've just clicked here with these squares on the top and at the bottom. The bottom is the color. The top is the opacity. And the opacity is really what matters for what we're doing here. So I'm going to close that. And then here on this new layer I've created, I have my gradient tool still selected. And I'm going to start at the top, and I'm going to hold shift to get a straight line and just drag my mouse down. And you'll see that now I have this gray on top, and it kind of fades to nothing. Then I'm going to come here to my paper and drag it on top, right click, create clipping mask, and there you go. It just kind of blends naturally into the layer below it. I hope you found that helpful. Have a great day.